Whew, that was a tough hit set. Hi everyone, I'm Cyber Sandra and I'm back with more tips to help you stay safe online. I use WhatsApp a lot in my daily life, but did you know that your WhatsApp accounts can be hijacked by scammers? Scammers use WhatsApp's re-registration process to do this. You see, WhatsApp accounts are tied to a phone number. When you set up a WhatsApp account, WhatsApp sends a one-time verification code via SMS to your phone. And this code is what scammers are after. The first method is that they might impersonate your friends or the WhatsApp support team. They might even tempt you with some promotional items and ask you to send over a promotional code not really the promotional code. Second method is where scammers try to take advantage of your voicemail. They try logging into WhatsApp multiple times until it prompts WhatsApp's voice verification feature. This is where WhatsApp will call and read out your OTP. They do this at night so calls go straight to voicemail and then access your voicemail through a default password. Here are some ways you can protect yourself. One, enable your two-step verification on your WhatsApp settings. And two, change your default voicemail PIN by contacting your telco service providers. In general, never share your WhatsApp account verification code or OTPs with anyone. If you ever receive such unusual requests from friends, be sure to verify it with them, drop them a call and make sure it's really them. If you want to learn more about WhatsApp hijacking and what you can do to protect yourself, scan this QR code here. Done? Okay, well, that was it for the third episode of Cyber Sandra. Thanks for joining me. Follow CSA Singapore on Instagram for more. I'll see you soon. Bye!